So hello and welcome to Air Film Mixologist, the place on the internet thingy where only the best materials come up for review. So case in point, what I'm going to do and on today's episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through dual point distributors and magnetos. Obviously I've got this kind of Scintilla Vertex NV4 a magneto that has dual points. You can see it here, one, two. And on this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through why why do why do these things even exist? What are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? And hopefully, you'll get some useful information um, on this video. Okay. So first of all, I think some introduction is in order, and I need to. And first of all, we're going to discuss what the different types of dual point distributors that you can find. So there are some dual point distributor systems that basically what they do is they divide the engine in two sets of points. So one set of points would be the trigger for four of the cylinders and one another trigger is another set of points is going to be the trigger for the other set of four cylinders if it was a V8 for example. So in this case if this were to be a V8 uh, V8 distributor or magneto and you would find that it has four four the, the this this cam has four four lobes in a sense then you will then this will mean that the distributor has uh, one set of points triggering one side for half of the cylinders and the other the and the other distributor is doing the other half so there is now so there is another possibility with this um with these units that's the following and this is where you have got like in this case you've got a this is a four cylinder mag uh, or distributor or whatever it applies to both and there could be a possibility that with 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 a different sort of configuration you can get one set of points to fire um, let's say the the engine but you can get an alternative set of points that it, that is wired that is wired differently set up with a different advance so it is possible to use a dual point distributor as some sort of the variation of the timing of the car yeah so that that could be an application for example nitrous oxide or turbo when you need to either advance or retard the timing you can do that by having a completely different set of points on a different advance yeah so that's another possibility however on this particular mag what this particular mag operates on the principle of having this as a dual trigger so let me show you a bit how does that work if i go like this let's see so now for example you can see here i hope you can see here that the points here have just opened yeah you can see it there they have just opened but the points here haven't opened yet, so if I turn it a bit more, I mean these points are a bit dirty, so you, so you can't see it very well. But what I, what I'm trying to say is that this mechanism, when it is like this, what is meant to be is meant to have like a double trigger for the ignition event. So when when the first set out. Oh, <laughs> this magneto is live so you need to be careful um, so when the when the first set of points opens like this basically that that gives you the beginning of the trigger event and you can see that the points are open there but these points aren't open there because this hasn't go to the lobe so therefore when this comes up to the lobe then that triggers the spark the rationale for for this to have a double trigger is that what happens here is that the the coil has more time to get energized with the um, with the points because if you if you had a single point distributor 
then you're wasting some degrees which you can finesse those degrees with this point and that's the reason why it's a dual mag not only that but if you look at there I hope you can see it there I don't know if you can see it there but this is this is <laughs> this is actually like like a like a Rolex of, of, of magnetos because I don't know if you can see that there is a there is a graduation there and you can actually by 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 loosening the screw and moving or moving this around you can vary the sensitivity of of the second trigger so that is actually really good this is like a fully adjustable uh, magneto so so this is the point of this system like this it's meant to generate kind of a hotter spark uh, for the mag so actually if you're looking at the ultimate in performance kind of this is it and the, obviously uh, well, uh, what I've got here is a magneto so that's why I've, I got this shock um, from the unit but but actually this this the same principle also works on a points distributor you know a normal points distributor so I got I, I hope you you kind of got something out of this I want to say thank you for your kind of questions or comments um, and if you got any questions about either this unit or another unit uh, please um, please let me know this is gonna come on the channel at some point when I get round to it at the moment I'm, I'm struggling with with a few things uh, so I can't get as much work done on the shop as I wanted to but anyway please do keep your comments uh, coming and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next episode thank you very much bye